Hi, I'm David, and I'm very excited to invite you to join us at our ultimate Angular 2 workshop in beautiful Barcelona on July 31st from 9-4. Come learn Angular 2 from Google developer experts Dan Wallin and John Papa, sponsored by Angular Beers. You can join us at the University of Barcelona, a great venue, where we will provide lunch, Wi-Fi, and power for laptops. John, tell us about yourself. Hi, David. Thanks. Dan and I are very excited to come here. Uh, I'm a Google development expert, as you mentioned, and also a Microsoft regional developer. Uh, I've had a lot of experience with web technologies and had a lot of fun learning Angular 2 with everybody else in these classrooms. Dan? Same here. Also uh, happy to be part of the Google Developer Expert and uh, MVP program for Microsoft and Regional Director program. So we get to hang out a lot. We do a lot of workshops together. Really enjoy it. And uh, like John, I'm really looking forward to coming to Barcelona and talking about Angular 2. And John, why should people come to this? Well, first of all, if you haven't been to a workshop with Dan and I, we're a little strange. We have a lot of fun together. It's always a lot of jokes, a lot of good times, and more importantly, a lot of practical experience. So we're not just going to talk about the features of Angular 2, which we will, of course, but we'll talk a lot about how you can use those to build real applications and solve real problems that you have. So you walk out of that class with some great experience. Dan, and what type of topics will we cover in the workshop? Yeah, uh, great question, David. I'm glad you asked. Um, <laughs> yeah, so as John mentioned, we're, uh, we're a little goofy sometimes probably, but we really like the learning process, and some of the things we'll learn uh, are, for instance, how to get started really quickly with Angular 2 with the Angular CLI. Uh, we're going to talk about components and the role those play with things like annotations and services, and help me out, John, what else we got we're going to cover? Well, it'll be quite a bit to be routing, and there's lots of tooling that we're going to look at as well. So we're going to look at the different tools that we have to both generate code, to check the code, to use the style guide with the code, all sorts of fun stuff that we'll be exploring together. And Dan, do you have a favorite Angular 2 feature? There's a lot of things I like, but I think one of my favorite features, which isn't really a feature, is just the general consistency of the framework. Um, you know, I'm a big Angular 1 fan, have been for years and years now, but one thing with Angular 1 is that unless you have, like, John's style guide or something like that to guide your team, um, you can kind of be all over the board. And it's not to say you couldn't be like that with Angular 2, but with Angular 2, I think you're going to get, you're going to get a lot more consistency in your development process. I think that's good. And then if I had to pick a feature... Uh, I really like how the dependency injection works. It's very flexible, especially compared to Angular 1. Um, what about you, John? I have a couple of favorite features, so I'm, so I'm going to miss, I'm going to talk about two of them. One is the template syntax and data binding. I love how simple it gets, and it's kind of related to my second favorite feature, which is it's really an absence of a feature. It's in Angular 1, we had to have all these uh, built-in directives that we use, these ng dashes, and over 40 of them are gone in Angular 2. So there's so much less to learn, which is why it's my favorite feature. It's less things I actually have to put in my brain, and I can still create great apps. There would be one thing I wanted to mention as well, and Dan, chime in on this if you feel, is the experience people need to have to come to this workshop. I mean, what kind of experience do you think they need to have? Yeah, um, you know, really, as long as you just have some HTML, JavaScript, and CSS experience. I mean, we're not going to teach JavaScript, of course. Uh, in fact, we're going to be using TypeScript specifically in uh, ES6, ES2015. So as long as you have uh, some type of foundation in web programming in general, then we'll definitely get you kind of from zero to hero uh, by the time you get done with the workshop. Exactly. So the next thing we got to talk about probably is how do people join us, right? Maybe. You want to join us in Barcelona? <laughs> uh, we're going to put something I think right over here below the video. It'll be yeah. some kind of a link that we'll throw up there that'll let you get uh, to the registration site where you can sign up. Uh, there are some coupons that are available for early bird specials to sign up and get a discount, which is always great. And then we're doing something special that evening. You want to talk about that, Dan? Yeah, so, you know, we realize not everybody uh, will be able to come to the full-day workshop on July 31st, but that night, uh, John and I, and with 
David's excellent help, are going to be doing a community night. So we'll be also doing some talks on Angular 2 and some of the related technologies that night. So we hope if you can't make it to the workshop, we definitely hope you can come to the community night. And I want to call a special uh, call out to the Angular Beers community and to David specifically for it being so great for helping us get all this organized. It's uh, great communities like this that really make these things possible. So thank you very much, Angular Beers community. Yeah, definitely. We, we really appreciate it. Well, we are really excited to have you all. Um, well, see you then in Barcelona and enjoy. All right. Thanks a lot, David. Thanks. Yeah. Thank you.